this story could have been too melancholic or too, let's say, cheesy, yeah. um, but it is not. What did you do to avoid that? I think uh, when I read the novel, uh, the novel had a very gentle tone, and it was never overly dramatic, you know. And and I I thought I, I took that leap, but I also decided to add a bit of humor to uh, Christopher's journey, you know, because I think in, in even in melancholy, in in sadness, you know, there is always humor, you know. And I I just felt that I didn't want the journey, his journey, to be heavy-handed in any way. So I wanted, you know, like an old man wandering around the world that he doesn't quite understand that well anymore any, anyway. So, you know, a little bit like a, a shuttle Jacques Tati, you know, which is, is one of my favorites, uh, all time favorites. And, and I, so I, I, I added a bit of that through the journey, but I also felt that, and I think emotions have to be earned on film. So by, and it gets quite emotional to in a certain place because it didn't want to shy, shy away from it because emotions are important as well. And I think sometimes people shy away from them. And there's a certain, uh, uh, how do you say this, um, uh, honesty and, and, and um, when you give the audience, allow them to, do, not to alienate them. But I also wanted to make sure because there was so much in the end of the story that could have, you could have pushed too far that we, you know, and I had the material in some way to do that, but I didn't want to do that. So I toned it down and I, I decided to trust people at that point. You don't have to push the buttons. You don't have to push it too far to, to you know, I rather, rather allow people to fill in the blanks themselves, you know, mm -hmm. instead of, be, you know, make it like a t torture porn or something like that, you know, like in the end. So it was very important to me to keep it subtle. And, 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 and also it's not, it's not about uh, an uh, old silly guy trying to find love before he, he dies and, and you know like uh, run around on the beach or something. It's about a man looking for a closure, you know, to understand his, his life, why it went the way it did, and what is there that he doesn't quite know about. You know, so I think uh, these the, taking that lead it was you know hopefully answers your question in some way. How is your work concerning rehearsals, or how did you prepare? with the actors so so i i have i've often asked about this how, what is my approach my approach is through every single person like more, more like a psychiatrist you know like like in in the sense that i don't expect people to adjust to me you know i adjust to people to get the best what i want out of them you know so so some people are you know if you have a very gentle soul who's dealing you don't go and push it too hard or ah, it's horrible do it again and some people you need the push, you know. So there's a very people have a very different approach of it. I I have I used to break horses. It's very similar to work with an actor and breaking a horse. When you get the horse to do it on his free will, not when you break it like in the old time. You know, it's not about that. It's not about breaking it in. It's it's a bad word breaking, but it's what it means. But it's it's to get get people to do things that you want them to do, but in their own free will. So, so they, they kind of have an experience that they are participating and put, you know, you know, and, and their creative uh, elements are coming through. Which is very important. So, so I think it's 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 a, it's a gentle way, and it's a, it's a very it's a, it's a very uh, it's not something you can put put a stamp on. And I always question it when people say, "Oh, this is my tactic, this is my method," but at the same time, nobody is the same, you know. So. Concerning your work with the actors, when the two elder people come together at the end, there are special techniques how to tell the distance that um, occurs when you are separated 50 years. Yeah. And um, how did you manage this? I mean, I think we just kind of worked through this. Uh, that it, it was it's it's very it's a very delicate situation and I, one thing which I, I i liked and it came kind of naturally because also through the movie this is the end of the movie when we do this you know because we started in, in iceland and went to england and then we, we we kind of finished the movie in in japan with a little bit of, you know of winter shoots in iceland but is that i had been on this journey with Eyjil for a long time but Nico, Yoko, who plays Nico, 
is only starting in the film. And, and I think his emotional uh, kind of uh, journey is most more, more packed, it's much more, uh, as of hers, it comes more as a surprise to her. So I love that it kind of naturally happened that the man cried and the woman didn't, you know, which is usually the opposite. And, and uh, so he sets a test. He doesn't, I mean, it's, she's not emotionally, I mean, she's kind of also, there are no surprises for her. She's, she's made her decision. She's made, made, made peace with it, you know, as he is learning. And so I think that was one of the very interesting things. And how, because also I do think, it's like when you meet somebody who you were, and it doesn't have to be a love affair, you meet someone you were in school with when you were a kid or you were close to, like time really evaporates quite quickly, you know. It doesn't mean that you become the best pals, but there is a certain kind of a closeness. There's a certain, a certain you, you, you can jump over certain things you don't, you know, like in, in communication. So I thought it was interesting. They can be kind of close pretty quickly, but not emotionally necessarily close. Not like, like falling in love and rolling around in the carpet. It's not going to happen, you know. But I, I think it was a very, it was, and I think because you are teaching film, tone is everything in film, you know. And it's, it's the hardest thing. And I often, often feel if people don't get that right, it's a very hard to, you know, I've said like, you can't have like a Meg Ryan and, and you know, hit her in the face and then, you know, continue to have people laughing. You know, it has to be certain tone. Everything has to be light when you do that kind of a film. In this, I had to find, the, in a different way, the right tone that there is gravity, there is, but there's also, there's a certain lightness to it as well. It's, it never takes itself, it doesn't go to like, as you say, too, too, too heavy or dig too in, uh, like, like life is so difficult and I feel so sorry about myself. And, and just to add, I have sometimes felt that Scandinavian filmmaking tends to self-pity. And I would really wanted to, we call it mirth in Icelandic, it's, it's like a self-pitying, uh, feeling sorry for yourself. I don't think Christopher feels sorry for himself. And that's a very important part of the journey.